Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video was originally going to be about stone chats and Dartford warblers, but obviously there'll be a few more little birdies, um, hopefully in, in it as well. This is one of my favourite places to stop in the late afternoon sunshine to get the stone chats and sometimes the Dartford warblers or sit around these rushes. <laughs> It is amazing in the space of about five weeks, we've gone from like the heat of the summer to having one or two showers. And then obviously we've had a significant amount of rain, especially in the Mercia region. But thankfully, nothing like um, what they've had in the Valencia region with the uh, Dana and the uh, devastation that that um, flash flooding has caused. We've got away quite lightly in the Mercia region. Obviously, where I live, we've got a little rambler run through that does pick up a bit. Yeah, after the after the last storm, obviously, I couldn't go anywhere in the car for a few days off road. You couldn't go off the tarmac anywhere. So I went in my local rambler and it's quite good because the black wing stilts were there. And I, I do love seeing there, the black wing stilts. Such a pretty bird with the black and white bodies and the uh, bright pink legs. They just make nice photographs to me. got to say I was quite lucky 15 minutes ago I did catch a group of stone curlews there was a lady walking her dogs um, and she must have disturbed them in the next field and luckily they flew over and they've landed out here
yeah, it's still there. I don't know whether I can do this or not. Let me get that screen out. I'm sure if you can see that. That's what I'm filming. I hope I'm getting this. There we go. Just as the sun's going down, got a nice maelstone chat here having a preen. I'm actually shooting between a few branches. I'm quite surprised how good it is, isn't it? have this theory that the stone chats are quite happily to perch up the highest on the branches that's where I'm normally catching them but quite often underneath you will see at least one pair of Dartford warblers now whether all these birds can communicate with each other or they know each other's um alarm calls but the, the, the stone chats will see at the top quite happily chirping away or I think they're chirping away and then when they move off, as they go across their little territory, as it were, that they've established for the winter, and more often than not, you'll find the Dartford warblers will follow them. And sometimes there'll even be a, a pair of um, Sardinian warblers underneath and a pair of uh, um, chiff chaffs. But the, the chiff chaffs and the Sardinian warblers are very very hard work for me the time i find them in the camera get the focus and everything on them they're long gone so i've only got a couple of photographs of the sardinian warblers and a few of the chiff chaffs are quite good but i'd love to get a nice bit of video of a sardinian warbler and i just can't yet again another beautiful sunny afternoon it just makes such a change after the rain and devastation we've had recently I'll try and keep, I'll try and do it both ways, but yeah, I'm getting a nice bit of video. Oh, the camera's creep. The only trouble with these bean bags, the camera's, it does creep down.
as I said in the last video, I originally brought this camera to do long range photography and video of griffin vultures up in the mountains. But I'm now spending more and more time in the bottom of the valley looking in bushes for, for small small brown birds, basically. And uh, it's just all about speed. I'm not quick enough most of the time to get them. Sometimes you get them. This is where the uh, stone chats save my bacon, as it were, in the uh, in the winter months, because they can be so obliging. They can just sit there quite happily a few metres away from me sometimes. Other times you can't get within 30 or 40 metres of them. But wherever the stone chats are, there is always a pair of Dartford warblers somewhere very close by. And they all just pop up occasionally, and that's when I get my photographs. They pop up to see where the stone chat is. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and even subscribe.